Hillbillies, welcome to our Colorway Fiber Arts Holiday Trunk Show. Uh, Wei Wang, who is the mastermind behind Colorway Fiber Arts, is a classically trained artist and she dyes her yarn and fiber in her home studio in Newmarket, Maryland. And look how pretty these are. Gorgeous. So on this wall we have some of her hand dyed fiber as well as her mohair silk blend. Uh, the mohair silk is a lace weight, but with the bloom of the mohair, you could use a size 8 needle on it if paired with a fingering weight yarn, and it'll work up similarly to a uh, worsted or an iron weight. And then on this way over here, we have some of her gorgeous fingering weight yarns. So the Colorway Fiber Art Color Sock is 80-20, uh, 80% 80 20, superwash merino, 20% nylon. You get 400 yards for each 100 gram hank of yarn. Each hank is $28. And then over here, the mohair silk is 72% kid mohair and 28% silk. This is a single ply, actually, is it a single ply? Yeah, it looks, she has it as a single ply yarn, although it just might be very finely plied yarn, but it's really beautiful. And you get 459 yards per, per 50 gram hank. Each hank is $30. And then above the mohair, we have some of her mixed art bats, which is a mixture of different kinds of wool. Uh, most, I think they all have some kind of sparkle in. And because the weights vary slightly and so does the fiber content, prices range from 25 from one bag of three batlings to $29. And then on our wall over here, we have five of her hand-dyed Cheviot braids. And Cheviot is awesome. It takes the dye incredibly well. And then for more information about Cheviot fiber, you can look on our website uh, in the fiber slider uh, at lovelyyarns.com forward slash colorway. And we'll put that website right up here across the bottom of your screen so you can see. So, and the Cheviot spinning braids are $18 each. And if you are doing any kind of felting, this wool will felt beautifully. And look at the colors, isn't that gorgeous? So this one here does not have a colorway name, but I think I have it listed as Untitled Pink and Orange. This braid here is her painter's palette. Each of these braids is four ounces of Cheviot. And then down below Painter's Palette, we have Happiness. And Happiness shows up a few times here during the show. So we have Happiness on Fiber, Happiness in Mohair Silk. Isn't that fun? I love how bright it is, it's so fun. And then also we have Happiness here on her sock base. So look, all, all the happiness, all the happiness, all the time. Bam, there you have it. Gorgeous, isn't that fun? It's so bright and cheery, I love it. And what more do you need during this pandemic than some happiness? I think you need to have some and you should go to our website right away and buy some happiness for yourself. <laughs> uh, next to happiness, we have uh, this beautiful teal with uh, copper color and this is patina and we have two braids of the patina in the Cheviot. Also, we have the patina is available in the mohair lace, mohair silk. So this also is patina. And then if we come over here, this is patina in the sock. This is fun for me because my husband, Mr. Lovely, used to be patineur at New Arts Bronze Studio down the hill from our shop. So here we go. Mr. Lovely currently is painting and sculpting on his own. So that's patina. So pretty, I love the colors. Like look how saturated the dye is. Like you just get really good, intense color. It's just stunning. Like look at this on the mohair. Like the color is just so vivid. They're like jewels that sort of pop out at you. 
So then next to here, so the, all right, so the mixed fats, we can kind of take a look. They're sort of a mixture of like blues and greens and black and gray and sparkle. So sort of everything. And we have pictures of these without the plastic on, on the website so you can see everything in full on detail. Now, next to happiness, we've got third eye. What a great color. This serious cobalt blue is fabulous. This tonal mohair is just stunning. Uh, also on the website, we've put together some uh, pattern ideas for you. So you can think about uh, what you want to do with this yarn. And maybe you want to combine the mohair with the fingering or even just to use it on its own. I know there's increasingly num an increasing number of sweater and shawl patterns that use mohair in conjunction with another yarn held together and then knitted and crocheted as if they are one piece of yarn. So we've got Third Eye Happiness. This is not just for girls. I love this bright pink. This is so good. Such a good pink. Been really into pink this year. I know, I bet, you know, I love bright colors all the time. Uh, and then next to not just for girls is Kiss Me. So this is a little moodier. It's got a little more red in it. And then next to this is this awesome deep red black. And this is Morrigan like from uh, Norse mythology, the Morrigan. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Like total vampy goth color. This would be so pretty with the shadows over here in her sock or even with the black hole. <gasps> Look at that. That would be so stunning. You could do like a super subtle, awesome goth uh, brio shawl out of that. It would be amazing. Uh, next to next to our Morgan colorway is Goodnight Numbers, and this is really pretty. This is um, violets, and it looks like how the dye has taken with the silk. You get like this electric lavender happening. Like that's just yummy, so yummy. Sort of like wine and violet is kind of what it is like. And then Goodnight Numbers also is in the sock yarn. And that's birthday mascara. Here it is. So, and then this is Goodnight Numbers on the color sock. And how different is that? Isn't that cool? I think it's so wild how the dye takes differently to the different bases. Cause it's so much redder in the mohair. Also on her sock yarn, she's got this great colorway called Birthday Massacre. I love it, isn't that fun? And no, I'm not joking, really look. Birthday Massacre, love it. And that goes really well with the Goodnight Numbers too. Super cool. Okay, back to the mohair sock. So we've got our Goodnight Numbers and then we have like a deep denim. And this one is blue jean. So, and this is just a really nice tonal denim -y blue. And then next to the deep denim, uh, our friend Jessica has been helping at the yarn shop this past week. Some of you have spoken to her on the phone or seen her in person when you've come to see us. This colorway is Starfish, and this is Jessica's favorite colorway of the mohair silk. And you can see why, look how pretty it is. It's got like these mauvey purples and earthy browns with this beautiful aqua, you know you want it. And I believe there are five of them. There are at least four skeins of each colorway of the mohair silk here in store. Some of them, there are five skeins, but for all of them, there are at least four. So enough to do a garment. Because 459 yards, that is a lot of yardage. And then of course the patina that we talked about already. God, isn't that gorgeous? I love that and it's so soft and you know these new hand-dyed mohair silks are so lovely it's not like icky sticky scritchy scratchy like mohair of old like you know funky funky oldie mohi hairy <laughs> it's new lovely soft silk kid mohair so and then next to patina this is citrine which also marries well with the patina you could certainly use well you could certainly put these two colorways together. 
And citrine is a great colorway. It's a really lovely neutral. And if you were looking to put this with some sock, I mean, look, it goes over here with this. I think this is burly. Aha, this is right. So this one is called burly. Look how pretty that is. Uh, you could put it with the mossy rocks here on the edge. Look how lovely that goes. This one is tiger's eye. So you'd have two gems, citrine and tiger's eye together. Tiger's eye is a little more orange than the citrine. And then of course with the patina and it's just, it's like it goes with everything. I mean, really. And if you want it, you can high contrast over here with apple harvest. Oh, or you can put with this blue. Like look how nice that is. Oh, let's go with that one too. Isn't that fun? I love putting colors together. Like really, you can put it with almost anything. Oh, and with the black, it's kind of sweet too. Look how, look at that, it's very striking. That make a really, really nice project. You know, like that gothic brioche scarf we talked about a couple minutes ago? You could do it with this too. That would look pretty fabulous. And then next to citrine is smolder, which might be my favorite. I've been really into fire colors lately and I am super into this. This orange is just fabulous. Look at that. That's just a delicious orange. It's like a hot tangerine. So into it. And then these pretty delicate salmons. I might have to get a skein of this for myself. Oh, isn't that lovely? I really like that. Oh, so then if we were gonna put that with something, we could put it with the orange up here, which is called Let's Blaze. We could put it with that orange. That's pretty standard. Would be a surprise. Oh, isn't that? Oh, yeah. Uh huh. I like that a lot. Look at that. Look at that. That with the tiger's eye. That's really pretty. And then also it has some pinks in it, so it could go really well with the mod, which is over here. But I think my favorite combo might be the smolder with the apple harvest. Like, just look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? Now you can see our tea set up on the edge. Let's move this over. But yeah, this combo here, I'm loving that. I love these two together. I might have to do that for myself. Just saying. Okay, so then moving on. So we've looked at all the mohair silks and had fun playing with them over here. Oh yeah, because then this bright blue, look at this is happiness in the sock yarn with third eye. That is great. Oh, and third eye goes over here too. So with the sock, I have multiples, I think, of every colorway except for one. This one, Refracting Light, we have only one. Only one of you gets to go home with this particular skein. Who will it be? Nobody knows. Okay, so let's see what else do we have up here. So we've got the bright blue, which is aqua. Aqua, of course, you know, it's gonna go with loads of stuff. So aqua looks really pretty with starfish. I love mix and match. Also, aqua looks great with happiness. And it looks really good with the kiss me. And the not just for girls. Cause you can do a high contrast and that would be lots of fun. Um, also, aqua goes really well with happiness, which is right next to it here. Look at all these fun colors that make up all of the happiness. It's just like a full rainbow of goodness right over here. And then our bright orange Let's Blaze, which also is a lovely complement to the yarn next to it. Um, of the aqua, I have two skeins. I have five skeins of happiness. I have two skeins of Let's Blaze. And I have three, four, five, six. I have seven skeins of this beauty over here, which is called Endler. So the cool colorway is like orange, yellow, green, and black. Kind of awesome. Sort of Halloween-y. But we have a bunch of it and it's beautiful. Like we have enough you can make a whole sweater. Two people can make a sweater. And then next to Endler, we have our black hole colorway, which is the semi-solid black, which is kind of fun instead of having like a flat black. It's got like a little movement, gives a little bit of smokiness to the colorway. And then of course our one and only refracting light the only one, it's like the Highlander. There can be only one. Only one of you can grab this skein. Oh, but isn't that pretty? Like, look, it's all about that blue. <gasps> Love it. 
Okay, and now moving on, this bright, amazing spring green. It's like electric spring green. This is green water. And this is a fun semi-solid. So say you're in love with this green water and you do want to put it with one of the, um, one of the mohairs. Like what would we put it with? Oh, you know, I kind of like it with blue jean, like green and blue. Isn't that fun? And also I'm loving it with the pink. Also fun. And it goes fabulously, of course, with third eye and happiness. Fun, fun color. Next to green water, we have Splat, which is like a soft pink base with all these multicolor speckles. And I love this jungle green speckle that's on here. And there's like ultramarine blue and some hot pink. Really pretty stuff. That's our foam. <laughs> we'll let it ring because we're not open yet. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> so we left off with Splat and then the phone rang. So then now we are coming down here. We've got our Heartbreaker, which is different shades of pink and this really pretty gray speckle. And then next to Heartbreaker is our Goodnight Numbers, which again looks so different from the mohair. So different. Pretty color though. I love like the tonality of it. It's really nice. And then next to our goodnight numbers, we have wild flowers. This is kind of cool. Okay, so then of the, the green water, there are three skeins of green water. There are five of black hole. We have four of splat. I have four heartbreaker. We have five skeins here of the goodnight numbers. And we have five skeins of wild flowers. So isn't that pretty how that comes out? Oh, we should open one of these and see how it looks. Sorry, you get to see on my messy table. So look how that goes. Oh, isn't that really pretty? It, I love how the skeins are always a little bit different when you open them up. Oh, isn't that pretty? So this red violet kind of goes up a long way. And then you get like this real lovely spring green that comes out. Look at this pop of blue. That's just really nice and surprising. Oh, I like that. I bet that looks gorgeous knitted up. Or crocheted up. Or woven up. Look at that. We can like back up a little bit so you can see it. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, somebody should go home with all of those. <laughs> we have enough to make a sweater. You should get some. You'll love it. <laughs> Next to it is a boyfriend sock which is really great. This is, looks like um, blue, violet with some red that creates some browns. And we have five of these as well. What does this one look like? I love undoing the skeins because the colorways always look different when you untwist the skeins. Like, look at that. Oh, those would make great dude socks. I don't know if you wanna make a fingering weight sweater for the dude in your life, but look how pretty this is. It's a really nice colorway. Okay, so let's get back over here. And then this beautiful red and black, this colorway is Deadpool. Love it. And so now that I know the colorway name, I can't stop thinking about it every time I see this, this color. Every time I see the yarn, it just makes me think of Deadpool. I love it and it's perfect. I can envision him in my mind when I'm looking at the yarn. Okay, so then next to Deadpool, this one is shadows. Oh, we have three of Deadpool and we have four of shadows. Sorry, shadows, which is sort of like a ghostly gray violet. Pretty. And then next to shadows, we have Burly. And Burly is sort of like gray and moss. Oh, I really like it. What's this one look like? Let's just undo all the colors. Let's see how they all look. Okay. Oh, that's really lovely. It's like stones, like a stone wall. So, you know, like sometimes you're marching around in the woods and then you come across like an old stone wall that used to be part of somebody's spring house or something. It sort of is that color. Look at that. That's great looking. 
Oh, uh, that's really attractive. I really like that one a lot. You know, didn't we say that that would look pretty with the citrine? Because I think it does. Oh, yeah. That's a really nice color combo. Oh, I like that one too. Somebody make this. Somebody has to get this color combo and make this because that's too pretty not to have. Okay, then below Burley, we've got Mossy Rocks. Oh, and this is nice. This is sort of like this on um, antique pea green with a little bit of orange and some indigo. Oh, that's great looking too. Yeah, let's see how this one looks also. Yes, I will wind them back up. Um, or twist them back up. But look how pretty those are. Wow. And you can really see the speckle. That's nice too. You know, all three, one, boom, boom, boom. These all kind of look nice together. Wow, that would be a really nice project. Look at that. All those colors, like it's just a really lovely color sensibility. Well, I would expect that she would because you know, she went to art school. Makes sense. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Love speckles. Oh man, that's a really nice color combo. Somebody buy it, you have to have it. Look how pretty it is, don't leave it here. Okay, <laughs> there's three of the burly, five of the mossy rocks. We have three of tiger's eye, which we looked at earlier. Also, we've got four of patina, which we looked at earlier. There are three of labradorite. Now this one is like kind of subtle. It's got loads of color that are just in here, but it's like violet, blue, chocolatey, brown, a little bit of turquoise. So it almost, it looks just like labradorite stones, which also have that really nice subtlety of color. Sort of like a gray wash rainbow is sort of what labradorite looks like. And I think she's really achieved it here in her dye. Just really nice, very beautiful color. And then next, and we've got three of the Labradorite. And next to the Labradorite is the Birthday Massacre. How fun is that? It's like purple, pink, and gray. And then next to Birthday Massacre, oh, we have three of Birthday Massacre. We have five of Mauve, which is a really pretty tonal mauve colorway. And then next to the Mauve, we have Europa, which I really like. Europa seems to go with like a whole bunch of stuff. Like Europa looks really good with Maud. It looks good with Birthday Massacre. It looks good with the Citrine. Like look, and it looks good with the Patina mohair. Like you can match this up with a whole bunch of stuff. Look how pretty that is. So, and we have four of Europa. And then finally this Apple Harvest, which I am so enamored because I remember I really like the Apple Harvest Smolder combo. So we will have Waze yarn here for about a week. Uh, we have everything up on our website ready for you to purchase. If you have questions, you can send me an email at lovelyyarns at gmail.com. Uh, our website for the show is lovelyyarns.com forward slash colorway. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all the good things. Set an alert so you get all the notifications when we have a new episode up. Um, send us emails. Thank you guys so much and happy stitching! <laughs>